We are going to a little alley. We just have to get out of the way of these people who are now not going to go past us. Okay, let me move back up onto the road because poor old Craig can't level the camera where it is now. Oh, he is going to go past us. Hello. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> All right, let me just go up a bit here. Beautiful elephant sighting. I think let's just stick, stick with these two, mum and baby here on our left-hand side. Tiny little thing. Well, probably about 14 to 16 months old. And mum being very protective. I must say, very confiding herd. Some of the herds here tend to be a little bit nervous of people and vehicles, but this one seems to be absolutely fine. And they've walked right past us a few times. And again, the only thing you can hear is the odd lark, way in the distance kind of thing, and then just the rustling of the grass and the perpetual breeze that never really seems to stop here. Light shining to Batman. She's just noticed he's on the back of the car. So she's going to come towards us, show us her shiny tooth. Nix, you want to know how you tell the age of an elephant. Uh, what you do, Nix, is you count the wrinkles on the trunk. They get 1.78 wrinkles per year that they're alive. I'm obviously talking rubbish. Nix, it's basically just done through... Sorry, I just don't want to move the car while she's this close because it'll give her a fright. So that's why the pole was in the way there. Uh, Nix, it's just through experience. And, uh, look, you can... When they're this age, it's quite easy. When they're little, you know that they are under a year. If they can fit underneath their mother's bellies, we can go back across to this way now. And then once they get beyond that, uh, it becomes quite a lot of guesswork. And it's just purely experience. And being in the bush, especially with somebody who knows what they're talking about. So I learned basically how to do it from a tracker that I used to work with the very first tracker that I ever had and he just taught me basically and over the course of a few years I began to have an idea as to how old they are. I think, to be brutally honest about our skills, we get it wrong quite a lot. I've no idea uh, exactly how to age them and they do, uh, quite unlike many other animals out here, they do show quite a lot of size variation and uh, with age and so a 60 year old elephant is not always the same size as another 60 year old elephant so sometimes I'm sure we get it wrong. There they are wandering off across the plains and the other thing to say about that of course is that it's not only the size, of course, they do keep growing until almost until the day they die, but it's also the condition of the skin and how fat they are, the, you know, how well conditioned they are, but that can also have to do with what they've been eating, drought conditions, etc., etc., so it's not always easy to tell the ages of elephants. Thanks. It is just tremendously, it is tremendously peaceful sitting watching elephants in a landscape like this. They almost look like they're about to take off and fly off into the horizon there, don't they? The grass waving them goodbye. I'm going to sneeze, I warn you. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you managed to turn your uh, devices down. Whew. I suppose I could have muted myself. That would have made it much less unpleasant for everybody. 